How to spot a liar? Pamela Maya Maya Maya. Questions. Question number one. What was the most memorable white lie you've ever told or been told? The most memorable white lie I've been ever told was that my classmate David, well, somebody called David, broke the earphones I have been using during music class. I mean, it didn't really have a big deal on it, but everybody was like trying to make me feel better. I was like, yeah, it doesn't really matter, but they think it really did matter to me. So I guess that counts as a white lie. I don't even know if it's a lie at all because it's not really true, at least to me. I don't even believe it. Question number two. Have you ever felt guilty for your life? Well, I've always felt guilty, always, for lies. Because, well, always, whenever I, like, lie about stealing something, I, well, at least to one of my classmates, I literally, like, once I see a lie, I literally say the truth and give it back. Like, says, like this. I didn't say it the time. And when that guy was, like, going away, I was like, no, I really did it. And I give it back immediately. Well, at least that's what happens most of the time. I was really good at kindergarten, but I'm getting worse and worse and as I go older and older, and I see my voice is getting deeper. Question number three. Do you have an acquaintance who lies a lot? What do you think about the person? Yes, by which I mean there's a guy that used to be here called Henry who always lied to everybody else. Except his friends. Which is a little bit awkward. Question number four. Do you tend to trust people or doubt people? I tend to trust people who trust me and I that I know I can trust because they've told the, the truth so many times. But I usually doubt people who keep on lying to me at least like, like three times in a row. Five, have you ever suffered a loss because you trusted others? This answer is a little complicated. It's yes and a part of no because I tried making friends with a boy in grade one called Adam and when I just discovered he was a bully, I guess you know what always happens once you discover that your friend is a bully. You need a little rest. Question number six. Have you ever pretended not to notice a person lying? <laughs> I pretended not to know to my f that not to know about the lie that they actually say to my friends. To my, no, my friends said to me. To my friends just to trick them and use it as a surprise attack. Well, they were like, give it back, give it. Come on, come on, give it and let us win. And I was like, okay, I'll give it to you. I gave it to my friend Leo, but this is what happened. We put our legs together and we put under. I showed them that I had the I had the ring thingy and I put it under there. And I and then I grabbed Leo's hand and put it under his leg to me. He was able to touch the ring, but I didn't give it to him. Instead, I made him, and th instead, he like t t put something like in his hand, hid it, and put it in his pocket, and he ran away. Well, the fr one of my friends were able to, to go, go over the trick and ran away from them. But then, well, my other friend was able to not to be able to see the trick. So I just ran away. Yeah! And the other friend, however, was too stupid to even notice that I was running away. Wow, stupid friends. But I still like them. All right. Question number seven. What do you think it means that people are willing to give a liar what they're hungry for? Do you agree with this idea? I think it means that people are tricked into willing to give the liar who tricked them into giving what the liar actually wants. So that everybody just has some of the things they want. The liar gains an advantage of what they want with lying. And also, I still think this is like, I agree with this idea because it really did happen a lot at home. At my home. Actually, I don't, well, actually, I'm at school. Question number eight. Are you good at live spotting? If so, what's your indicator? I guess I'm pretty good for an average person because, well, at least at home, at least at school, I'm not really good at finding liars at home. 
but I am really good at finding liars at school. At least up to my, at least I can find liars who are my peers, my friends, or people who are a little below my age. But the four people who I can't seem to get into there is the friends, is people who are older than me. All of us are like deceive, deceivable and obvious, obvious stuff. And my indicator is the face language and the body language. Oh, and also, yeah, so the language of what they're talking about. So this is the end of this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, see you next time. Shine out. Peace.